In this video, I'm going to show you how to find critical values using a t-table. Now the t-table is set up different than the standard normal table, so let's kind of look at the different pieces. All right, so first of all, here on the left-hand side, these are all the different degrees of freedom. And so remember that a t distribution is defined by its degrees of freedom. So for example, if we were interested in a t distribution with 30 degrees of freedom, we would be looking at this row right here. Right? Now the next thing we're interested in is where we're going to be trying to find critical values for different levels of confidence. And so the different levels of confidence are given in this bottom row right here. So for example, if we were going to work with 30 degrees of freedom, so again, remember 30 degrees of freedom is right here, and we wanted the critical value when the t-distribution has 30 degrees of freedom for a 90% confidence interval, we would find where the 90% and the 30 degrees of freedom match up. And they match up right here. So that would tell me that T star, when we have 30 degrees of freedom for a 90% confidence interval, is 1.697. Let's look at another one. Suppose instead I had a T distribution with 45 degrees of freedom. So just to kind of write this down, we got 45 degrees of freedom, and I want to make a 99% confidence interval. Well, first of all, if we come over here to our degrees of freedom, notice that 45 isn't on here. We go from 40 to 60. So if the degrees of freedom you want are not on the table, what you'll do is you'll round down. So we don't have 45 on the table, so we go down to 40. And so we'll find where 40 matches up with 99. So going across, 40 matches up with 99 right here. So this T star would be equal to 2.704. And so you're, if, again, if your degrees of freedom are not on the table, you're always going to round down. Now the other nice thing about a T table is we can actually use the T table to kind of cheat and get our Z star values as well. So notice this line right here that says Z. What they've done here is they're saying, okay, if your degrees of freedom go to infinity, and remember as the T distribution, as the degrees of freedom go to infinity, we approach that standard normal. Well, here are the Z star values for the different levels of confidence. So notice here, and you could put a little star there to remind yourself these are Z stars. Well, look, if we look at the Z star for 95%, we see that 1.96 that we've seen before. If we look at the 80%, we get that 1.282. So if you'll go back and look at those common Z star values that are in your notes, you'll see all of them here on this line. 